Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Chairman and uh, my colleagues on this committee, uh, as many of you, if not all of you know, uh, we had a horrendous situation in our great state of New York uh, with many of our parents and grandparents dying as a result of terrible policies directed by our governor, Governor Cuomo, uh, when it comes to his nursing home uh, directive uh, that sent 15,000 of our residents to their death by way of an order uh, that Mr. Rice just recognized in his commentary in the debate that he had here uh, with our colleagues. Governor Cuomo issued an order that in March of 2020 that sent known COVID-19 positive patients to nursing homes where non-positive COVID-19 patient residents lived and then housed those COVID-19 positive patients in the nursing home so that that virus could spread throughout those nursing homes and ended up killing 15,000 of our fellow New Yorkers. I have to tell you that order was in effect for over 46 days. It has taken months to get to the bottom of that order. And I thank our attorney general, who is a Democrat, who recently issued a report to come to the conclusion that our governor covered up uh, that order and the decisions that related to that order. And finally, we have some justice appearing for those 15,000 souls. But I also have to indicate to my colleagues that it's not just in New York that this order was issued. This exact order back in March of 2020 was essentially copied for approximately five to 10 other states. They were all Democratic governors, is what my evidence shows me, uh, where this edict was copied across the nation back in March 2020 and April 2020, where COVID-19 positive patients were sent into nursing homes where non-COVID-19 residents lived. So 15,000 residents died in New York. If there's 10 states where this happened elsewhere, does that mean 150,000 of our American citizens died as a result of that order? Well, I just got to tell you, now that we have uncovered by our attorney general's report, what happened in regards to the situation in New York and justice needs to be done, I have offered an amendment today that essentially calls upon the governor of our states to certify as they receive the funds under this bill that all the information that they have to are and are obligated to deliver to CMS, to CDC, and our other national agencies, that when they report that data, when they report the data that's occurring within our nursing homes, that they have to certify that the data is accurate and that it's honest and that it is fully compliant with all laws that are submitted to those oversight agencies uh, that make sure that our nursing homes are safe and secure for our senior citizens that we all love and care. Uh, for so deeply. This amendment is essentially just a simple certification by our government governors, to be honest, so that the attorney general doesn't have to go through uh, that investigation to uncover the truth like she had to do in New York State. We have bipartisan support in New York uh, with Senator Gillibrand joining with us for a full investigation to get to the bottom of this a horrific situation uh, for this nursing home scandal uh, in New York. But we should be able to do this together here so that all states are getting the information to our oversight agencies here at the federal level, just to make sure that the data and what is occurring with COVID-19 is true and accurate. That's all I'm asking. That's all I'm asking. There's no delay in the funds. There's no delay or an additional bureaucracy that has to occur. Just a signature. Just a signature to say that the data is accurate. And all I'm asking for you to do is support this amendment and include it in this legislation so that we can make sure that those 15,000 souls in New York at least have justice and know that they didn't die for nothing and that we don't have to wait for additional deaths to occur 
we can avoid that by learning from their deaths so that they never happen again. And so I encourage you to please, please support this amendment and include it in this legislation. And with that, I yield back.